There are quite a lot of things that SpongeBob can't live without. His job at the Krusty Krab, his best friend Patrick, and most of all, his beloved pet snail, Gary. Gary the Snail is a character that has been in SpongeBob since the show first aired in 1999. He's a character of very few words, but that doesn't make him any less of an icon. His pink shell and distinct meow makes him one of the most recognizable characters in the show. And like SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy, and Mr. Krabs, the show just wouldn't be the same without him. So that's why I've compiled a list of facts about Gary that should pique your interest if you love this sea snail as much as I do. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can enter our monthly shout out giveaway. Gary the Snail and Spongebob aren't really shown to have much in common. In fact, Gary is shown to be annoyed by Spongebob a lot of the time. However, there is one thing that they have in common that you may not know about. We all know that Tom Kenny plays the role of Spongebob Squarepants, but did you know he also plays the role of Gary? That means all the meows you hear from Gary are actually from Tom Kenny, the voice of Spongebob. In the episode Rule of Dumb, something pretty major was revealed. Now Spongebob is best friends with Patrick and Gary, but did you know that Patrick and Gary are actually closer than you may realize? Patrick and Gary are first cousins. This doesn't really make much sense, especially in the real world. Starfish and sea snails don't have much relation to each other, but I suppose this doesn't really matter, as this show is anything but realistic. Come to take the crown back, as it would seem that you aren't royalty after all. Huh? I've discovered this coffee stain, which, upon removal, reveals that Sir Gary is the true heir to the king's crown. The main cast of characters in SpongeBob SquarePants all have very distinct houses. SpongeBob lives in a pineapple, Patrick lives under a rock, Squidward lives in a tiki head, and Mr. Krabs lives in an anchor. But I think the coolest house in the show by far is Sandy's Tree Dome. This house is amazing, and some of the show's best episodes have taken place within it. For example, Tea at the Tree Dome and Survival of the Idiots. However, there is one main character who has never been in Sandy's Tree Dome, and that character is Gary. In the latest Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run, Gary is snail napped and Spongebob has to rescue him. Even though the movie's plot revolves around Gary, Gary doesn't actually play a huge role in this movie, and is more of a plot objective as opposed to an actual character. However, it wasn't always meant to be this way. Gary was actually supposed to play a bigger role in this movie. At one point, Gary was originally supposed to be from a different planet inhabited by snails, making Gary an alien. This makes pretty much no sense, but for some reason I quite like it. I wonder how this idea would have played out if put into fruition. Maybe Gary would have ended up staying on his home planet, which would have been a very sad ending. Gary may not be able to say or do much, but he's actually a lot smarter than you may think. There have been quite a few episodes that showcase Gary's intelligence, but the episode Sleepy Time is where it's highlighted the most. In this episode, Spongebob is sneaking into other people's dreams, including Gary's. In Gary's dream, Gary is portrayed as a very well-spoken intellectual. While this is just a dream, I do think it reflects on Gary's real-life intelligence. The original American English version of Spongebob is certainly the most well known, but Spongebob is a very popular show in other countries as well, so there are plenty of dubs of the show, as well as name changes. Gary is not called Gary in other parts of the world. In the Croatian dub of Spongebob Squarepants, Gary is called Slavko, and in the Dutch version of the show, Gary is called Gerrit. Gary is not a very articulate creature. The only way he can communicate with people is through his meow. However, there have been a few instances where Gary has spoken. We've already looked at one of them in the episode Sleepy Time, but in the episode Chatterbox Gary, Gary is given the ability to speak throughout the entire episode. In the real world, pets aren't usually expected to have jobs, but that isn't the case in Bikini Bottom. Believe it or not, Gary has actually had quite a few jobs throughout the course of the series. Gary has been a waiter and a fry cook at the Krusty Krab, and at one point he was even hired as a bouncer. Gary has also been a DJ and a cashier. The new Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run, focuses on Gary going missing, but this isn't the first time Spongebob has lost Gary. In the episode Have You Seen This Snail, 
Gary leaves his home after SpongeBob forgets to feed him. However, in Sponge on the Run, Gary gets kidnapped, as Gary's snail goo is a byproduct that King Poseidon uses to look young, and Gary is the only snail left under the sea that actually produces this goo. Like most pets, Gary absolutely loves his food. But in the second Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water, it is revealed that Gary actually hates mayonnaise. I'm not a big fan of mayonnaise either, so I can't blame you, Gary. 